Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of GSP. This is going to be episode three and unlike last week, we actually have a lot to talk about this time around. How y'all doing? I'm doing great, Proof. How about you? I'm doing great. I will say, again, sorry, no face cam today. I got over my cold, feeling a lot better, went to play some baseball with the boys and I got the nicest throw I've ever seen straight in the eye and I have just the nastiest shiner ever. So next episode, hopefully it'll be gone, but sorry about that. I'm Mar though. How you doing? I'm doing good. Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to play some baseball. That sounds very exciting though. So I hope you recover <laughs> soon and uh, yeah, I'm doing good, man. Yeah, we got to get it before the, uh, the snow falls down, but let's just jump right into it. Uh, I want to skim past these topics, but we should mention them. You're going to have Luis being our first player to make it into Watch Throne. Not super surprising that he made it in, but the fashion that he did it in. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Straight that domination. Is. He NorCal came through for him. NorCal wanted to see him, and NorCal provided for him, man. He, uh... We said what he had like over seven thousand votes. He cleared second place by like five thousand votes. It is. It wasn't even close. It's almost like we caught it. You know? It's almost <laughs> like we did. <laughs> it's like, almost like we caught it. <laughs> even if you combine you know, first and second place right now, he still had more votes. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. That's insane, considering the fact that like you know there's such a lead and people are still like paying to to vote and all that. You know, even though they got like thousands on on the next person. So the sport's crazy. He got a spear bomb right at the end that was literally more than second place. It's like, well, you probably didn't need that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, uh, I don't know. <laughs> a little bit yeah. of yeah. all that, but thank you. And then people that got out was T3 Dom, Masa, Territory, or not Territory, Takara, and Siski. Yeah. Yeah, that that the other guy he doing he doing quite he doing well right now. Actually, <laughs> I wanted to talk about it. Yeah. The last episode I said uh you know, I really hope that uh, that we don't that none of these little math players get voted <laughs> in, man. And uh, you know, the the lesser of two evils for me was Peanut, and my man is he's not high up in the votes right now. So I I don't know yeah. I don't know how I'm how I'm feeling. Like I got mixed emotions about this right now, especially because my man Web JP looking like he's gonna get the spot taken by this dude. But vote Web JP today. This is gonna be out before October fifth. Go vote for him today. Vote. Drop your votes. Drop your votes. Hopefully. MFA too. <laughs> I think it actually comes out the day after October fifth. But vote for him for the third one. Vote for, for the yeah. third one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Web Web should be there for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. It's it's yeah. P Peanut is right now. He's in ninth with uh, less than five hundred votes. Um, so Peanut's definitely on the verge of getting eliminated. Same with Elijahman, MFA, and then Tarek is also down there. Tarek is the closest to sixth place currently. He's about less than two hundred away. So. There we go. Um, it's just some flexibility there, but yeah, it's um, it's crazy. I mean, it's it's those those top people up there. Uh, like like we said, the other little Mac, uh, Karama's up there yeah. as well. Uh, so so two people that we we kind of sort of talked about last time, possibly yeah. getting in. So I'm still feeling confident about Karama taking one yeah, of the too. the other yeah, three spots so though, um, just because you know he's he's got the rest of the NorCal votes for him now. Uh, and I, I want to say uh, I I saw a little bit of talking about this on Twitter. This uh, it hasn't. This invitational hasn't brought the same energy that Summit's brought for the the voting process. Of, yeah, uh, seen a lot of people bringing it up. You know, they're uh, they want you know more energy, more crazy things happen, and and I don't know if it's just because uh, I don't know people don't care as much. The march isn't as good. The incentives aren't as I, good. But we just haven't. We not haven't gonna lie, the, I was energy. I was gonna kind of, cause I was kind of looking at the merch and I was like, oh, like, damn. <laughs> It's like I don't really know. I mean, I, I mean, and this is just my opinion, but I feel like Summit always had like really cool merch. So there was one of those things where it's kind of like, like, do I want to buy that? And then it's like, oh well, my votes are going to go to you know who I want to see get in. So you know, for sure, that's going to set it over the edge. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and buy that. You know, um, but yeah, I definitely agree with that too. I feel like especially with Summit, you know, anytime Summit was near, that's all I would ever see on Twitter. Uh, and to be honest, with, with Watch the Throne, I feel like I haven't seen a whole lot on Twitter. Um, Compared to like you know how summit was, yeah, yeah. Well, I think like, that's just a thing where it needs to get established, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's the first one around. It's yeah. gonna get better. Uh, I think the merch is good, but I am just broke. And then also for summit, you had like side events as well that you could put your money towards. Yeah. Or is this it's yeah. just the voting? But again, first time around, all the kinks will be worked out, and we'll get back to Watch the Throne next week. But right now, I want to move us on quickly 
to MK Leo making his great return at two events this weekend. One of them pretty good. The other one was the Hooters event. So let's start with that one. What do y'all think about that event? So MK Leo, you know, it's just it's it's a weekly, you know. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna take it too seriously. Um, but very surprising, got eliminated by Javi at that tournament. Javi. Uh, amazing performance right there from him uh, you know being able to eliminate leo it's nothing that he hasn't done before but uh to be able to do it 2023 uh against uh, I, what do you all know what character was he on joker or was, was he was uh, joker for the first game and byleth for the last three you got it yes i mean he he was playing his actual characters he wasn't yeah. playing meta knight or anything like that so <laughs> so very impressive right there <laughs> uh and then leo you know he bounced back right after so just just goat things yeah, well, I mean, he immediately wins the Hex of Sorcerer Volume X, doesn't drop a set there, and he super flexes on Javi in the winner's finals as well, 3 0 him, even going Aegis yeah. game 3 said, You know what? You got me at the Hooters event, but that's a one time thing. It ain't happening again. Yeah, exactly. Also, yeah, shout- I think the thing with, with. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to shout Super Dog for actually putting Leo into losers at the Hooter event. There we go. And then yeah. Javi DQ'd round one of the Hooters event because I think he was late. And won 13 sets in a row to be able to take that thing. To which be able to take that event. Ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, that's probably like his best tournament run he's ever had, honestly. He probably very strong player in Smash 4. I believe he was ranked in like the 40s multiple times. Um, yeah. I great, remember. like top 10, top 15 wins. Uh, you know, very, very good player. But a run like that, that's just, it proves so much more than you're just good at the game. You know, the fact that you're able to beat that many people of that skill, that caliber in a row all in a row because you know that that they're probably trying to get out of there they're they're running the sets like back to back to back uh and to just win 13 in a row that that's so impressive i got so much respect for him for that yeah and especially i mean you know it, it gets harder every time every every single round as you're progressing to that loser's bracket you know it, it's it's a shark tank you gotta gotta be prepared for it and um yeah. knowing that there is no backup there's no there's no losers losers bracket like that's it you know so uh, it's always impressive to see those losers run for sure. And uh, regarding MK Leo, definitely, um, you know, always impressive. I think with with players at the top like that, uh, kind of like you mentioned, you know, yeah, you might have gotten me, but it's not going to happen again. You know what I mean? So I feel like MK Leo does that the best. Where you know, oh, yeah. let's say he has a poor performance, he's going to bounce back all the time. And that's the thing with Leo. He had like this energy about him for a long time, where it's like he's untouchable. But now he's just. He's still a very strong top player, and people are just like, they be giving him crap. Like, it's a weekly, bro. Yeah. Like, back yeah. off. He <laughs> dropped the set to somebody he's played, like, how many times before? Exactly. Uh, and, like, it's just not that big of a deal. People take it too yeah, seriously. Yeah, like, when Light uh, lost a guy at that one little regional, it was like, no exactly, one exactly. It's the exact same thing. Like, yeah, whatever. It's ranked. Is it going to affect it? No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's but the still, thing. It's like, it's, super dog. yeah, like, nobody's perfect in this. I mean, you look at any, literally any sport, right? Like, no team goes undefeated every year. Like, they're always going to, you know. So, and it's the same thing with Smash. I feel like especially um, especially with MKLeo, a lot of people kind of hold that against him. Like, oh, you you had this loss this week or whatever. Like, like you're bound to lose eventually. You know what I mean? It's, it's all about how you bounce back and how consistent you are. And he's, like, one of the most consistent people for sure. I just think the exactly. standard's so high from the precedent. That yeah, sent. it is. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. like how Imar was saying, like in sports, even like strong teams, you'd be surprised. Like some of the best teams ever, like one yep. of their 10, 12 losses is some random like yep. team that went even the whole season. It's like, how did they get one of the wins on them? But <laughs> then, you know, at the end of the season, though, guess, guess who came out on top? You know what exactly. I mean? So that exactly. that's how I see it with MK Leo. Like, take your small losses here and there. And I don't want to harp on it for too much longer. That's that's the GOAT right there. That's the GOAT. Amen. Don't yeah, disrespect thanks. my man. <laughs> thanks. All right, well, let's move on to the main event. And by the main event, I yeah. mean one of them because we got three big events this weekend. You're going to have Bears 400, Rewired Fest, and Kagaribi 11. Bears 400 is, I think, like a B tier just skirting in. Rewired is going to be a B plus tier. And Kagaribi is a P tier. So we'll start with Bears. First, it's going to be a tri state invitational, not invitational, just event in general for top eight yeah. seats. You're going to have Jen and Doorstop in seventh, Icy Miss Web JP in fifth. Goblin fourth, Tilde third, Jackal second, and Zomba first. Who y'all got winning? You want to go first, Imar? I'm taking Zomba. <laughs> we talked <laughs> last time we did predictions. I was like, eh, in the back of my head, I feel like Zomba's going to be somewhere up there, but I'm going to go with somebody else. Now, this one, I'm taking Zomba. Zomba wins this. Yeah, Zomba, I mean, it's hard to bet against the kid, right? He He's so good. Uh, just 
Just to play devil's advocate a little bit, I'm going to go for somebody else. I was saying it before the pod. I got, I don't know what it is. I got this feeling, man. Goblin's going to go crazy at this tournament. I feel like Goblin, I'm I'm locking in Goblin top two at least. Um, and my guy WebJP as well. Obviously, uh, y'all are going to find out if there's ever a chic player in the bracket who's decently good at the game, they're probably going to be my pick. <laughs> Even if I don't think they're actually going to do that good, they're going to be my pick. Uh, so yeah, Webb, Webb, I'd love to see him outplace his, his fifth to sixth, uh, seed right there. Maybe, maybe get a little bit higher, fourth or, uh, third. Uh, and then yeah, Goblin's going to take it. Goblin 3-0 on Zamba. Zamba's going to come back. It's going to be game five and the second set of grand finals that Goblin's going to get the dub. Easy. I, I mean, I got Tilde. Uh, doesn't drop a game. Flawless win for him. Just styles <laughs> on everyone. Tilde, I mean, we don't really get to see a ton of this guy, but whenever we do, yeah, true. Yeah. such a treat. Such a good player. And he actually has decent records versus pretty much everyone here, so I definitely think he can take it. What about 100%. underdog picks? You guys have any underdog picks? MPG. That's, what, that's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Let's go, Mega Man. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. He is so um, good. He is, dude. I, I feel like I haven't really seen him uh, have a really big like pop-off. I think the last one was Apex. Bit. Apex, yeah. He sat I think he got like sixty fifth at collision and let's make big moves at the beginning of the year. But besides that, it's been, you know, a little little lackluster compared to what you'd want to see from him. Uh, I'm checking out this bracket right now. I don't know if I got a I don't know if I got an underrated I feel like uh I feel like my goblin pick was already hot enough to cover. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> and then actually I'll uh, I'll let you take MPG Imar. I'll go with Leon. Leon. Okay. There we go. The young, yeah. the young go. I think he can beat Jen, even though it's Paul Lou Bowser. I think he can beat Jackal, even though it's Wolf Bowser. I think he can beat Tilde, even though it's Falco Bowser. You know, you get the point. It's a Bowser bracket, but hey. Leon is the pilot. He can do it. 100%. I might have another one, too, actually. Oh, I, I see. Now, DDD this might be crazy. I want, I want to see both of them do good. I have a potential crazy upset right here. Ready? Yeah, hit me. Okay. Up. Now, now hear me out, and, and I want I want this to be known, right? If this actually happens, just let me know that we caught it, right? Listen, Archangel's gonna pop off. You guys know who that is? Oh, no, I keep heard the name, but I don't know if they familiar. play off the top of my head. This guy plays Isabel. I know he's like really good. Um, I've actually I met him in person because he he came to like a multiverses thing one time. So that's why I recognized the name right away. I was like, oh, that's the guy that that's the Isabel player. He has to play Zomba to make it into like top thirty two. <laughs> that is now. I'm just saying, <laughs> Isabel versus Rob, you, you pocket the top. I mean, <laughs> what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? It's so so hey, you know, I'm just saying that's a that's a potential upset alert right there. All right. And Isabel has an infinite too. It's a, <laughs> you know what? I'm also, broken. <laughs> I'm also changing my pick. That's a sweet. That's a sweet. We're gonna just keep changing our picks until we get down to like (laughs) two or like like five guys. (laughs) All right, we'll move on before we we switch anymore. Rewired Fest is one of the most top heavy events I have ever seen. For a top eight, you're gonna have Quandale, Dingle, Lingleton, and Shattuck in seventh. But Shattuck is going to be DQing, so I don't really know who's gonna replace him. We'll get to that in just a second. For our fifth seed, though, you are going to have Mars and Apollo Kage. Fourth, you're going to have Mudes, third, Light, second, Gluto, and first, Spargo. This event is it's insane. Yeah, I I guess the pop bonus brought them all out there. That would explain it. Uh, now that I'm looking at I mean, it, I'm yeah, like... Yeah, to get people to go to Arkansas. <laughs> random, <laughs> the fact that Gluten is there at this... How many people are even at this yeah. tournament? They got Gluto and Mars. About 500. Oh, oh but about it's 500. a lot of us. It might be Street Fighter mostly, yeah, too. Yeah, it's Street Fighter. Let me see jump. real quick. Um... I have this. Um, it's 352 attendees in, in Ultimate. Okay, yeah. Pretty, more Delta. That's, that's pretty good. Where's this at? In Arkansas? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's just so random. <laughs> that is so crazy, dude. <laughs> hey, shout outs to them, man. I love I love seeing Smash Tournament. Shout outs to whoever it is that's hosting this and is uh, putting this money into the scene. You love to see it. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, money in the scene. I'm not going to complain where it is. Yep. Do y'all have anybody that you're, that you're expecting to kind of pop off here? Um, Ooh. I didn't know he's going to this. I, I'm gonna go skinny the poop. This is a skinny this is a guy poop. from from my city. Uh, I think he moved to the Dallas area now. Um, his Mario is like crazy. Like he he's like, I know he's beat Mutes a few times, like at locals and things Man. like that. Like he competes even in Dallas. I see now he's there. He, like I see on Twitter, he's getting first at all those locals. Uh, I think he's gonna pop off. Damn. Okay. 
Yeah, it's Mario's crazy. I I've, I recognize the tag, but I never knew who they played as. So yeah, yeah, he's a Mario man. So cool. I wouldn't be surprised to see him pop off a little bit. And I know he's projected to be in losers top forty eight, but I could see him. I don't. I don't know who he's projected to play to get into top forty eight, but um, he's supposed he, to beat he... or lose to Maruko, which is definitely doable, actually. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. That, uh, Marvelous Marco? No. From... Or did he change his name? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he oh, changed okay. his tag to Maruko. So yeah, it's, a, it's the Toon Link player from SoCal. Mario Toon oh, Link. Okay, I'm not even going to pretend like I know how that matchup is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mario, anyway, it's probably... It's... I can see it. Yeah. I'm going to rep Texas here, for sure. Maybe so, like Texas picks here. for me, uh, for underrated pick... I kind of want to go with uh, with Superberry. He's n- n- number one, number two in Oklahoma. Uh, me, uh, me brawler player. Mm-hmm. Super solid, um, really good player. I got to see him play a little bit at Genesis actually in some of his uh, just one of his off stream matches. Uh, and dude, dude was legit. Dude is definitely legit. He's so good. One of the best brawlers in America, maybe in the world. I mean, not really a heavily contested title, but that character is really good, and I think <laughs> he can go on a run. Yeah, facts. I okay, and I see I see an upset that I could see happening. Okay, wait. First of all, who does who's Mars project to lose to up here? Mudes. Yeah. Mudes. Okay, I could see that. I don't know. I feel like Beastly's Diddy could get this dub over Mars. Okay, I feel like that matchup straight garb. It's Beastly's mm-hmm. crack. I feel like people don't know about Beastly. Okay. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> I think it's crazy. Uh, that's just that's a that's a Jazara hot set alert. Potential upset. Well, hold on, hold on, uh, hold on. Right I hate to burst your bubble, but Beastly was supposed to play Shattuck. Shattuck, yeah. So he probably won't get sent to losers to play Mars. Mm, that's so, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah I, forget, probably... I forget that this bracket uh, is mid It's likely going to be Cannon well. Red who takes over for Shattuck. That's Cannon Red. That's a, that's Shout an OG Cannon buff player. He did that's it before the school. Yeah. For real. Him and Bass made man. Yeah, really. My my pick's gonna be Atomic. This guy is so good, yeah. and we have seen like just sometimes he just is incredible, and he's playing a really good tournament character. Yeah. And I think both the people that he's playing against, I think Light's kind of a tough draw, but to get to Light, mm-hmm. he's got to beat Apollo Kage, which is I think doable. Apollo Kage again has lost to Zamba on a multitude of occasions, but also yeah. top ten player in the world. So we'll have to see how that does play out. But I think Atomic can definitely make a run. Yeah, like I said, the Texas talent is crazy in this bracket, so definitely a lot of names in there that I recognize off the top of my head, but um, I don't know. I, I definitely see a lot of upsets potentially happening at this event. There's definitely that possibility. Even, like, there's, like, I didn't even realize that, like, because this is an Arkansas, but a lot of these names I just recognize, like, from Texas, so I guess <laughs> a lot of people go into this. <laughs> I guess, yeah, the prize pool must be crazy. <laughs> it's learnable. Yeah, no, I see, I see some Oklahoma. There's some Missouri up in here. You randomly have yeah, marvelous Marco from SoCal's pulling up. Uh, <laughs> Beast mode Paul is gonna be there. Like I yeah, Ruska nerd. He's from Austin. I want to say yeah, that's crazy. Kind of yeah, a lot, a lot of, a lot of kind of random people up in here. But this is gonna be another cool tournament. Like I love to yeah. see this collection of talent. These are matchups that you would not uh, normally get to see at, at like a major tournament. You know what I mean? So yeah, who do you guys cool. think's gonna win? I gotta, mm. I gotta think it's gluten me, man. Like after, after his run at Terra, um, That's he has a pretty, too. he has a favorable bracket. You know what I mean? He has, yeah. uh, he has light. Uh, I don't know who's gonna get swapped out for Shattuck. Maybe that'll kind of switch up the bracket, especially if Quandale gets bumped up a seed and he ends up being the seventh. Um, oh, and gluten me has to match up into Quandale. Yeah. Um, I feel like that that could definitely make his bracket run a little bit more more tricky. Um, but otherwise, you know, uh, Light, um, whoever he gets, or Apollo Kage, I feel like he matches well into into Snake. Uh, and then Mute or Spargo, he's done both of them before. Uh, even though it's always like he he comes back on them, like barely beats them. He, he wins. He wins at the end of the day. So I feel like he's got it in him to take this. I think that Mute is going to upset Spargo. Okay. I also think that Gluto and Light are going to win and play each other. And regardless, I think Spargo's going to come through losers and win the whole tournament. Okay. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to go with Mars for content. 
<laughs> for content. That's it. No, no, no logic, no rhyme, no reason. But uh, hey, I know he'll be able to pull it off. Yeah, it's I know he got it. He got it in the bag. Hey, I can Loki see. I want to see how he's matched up into Mute Ace. Lifetime. He lost their last encounter, but I think that was at like main stage, like forty million years ago. Oh no, I think it was at Big House, but he still lost it. And then he, he did lose it. Was that yeah. Big House? Uh, it was a Big House. Okay. Yeah. And then for Glutiny, I don't even know that one. Spargo, I don't think he's ever beaten, but I think they've played. Or he beat him at CEO, but like whatever. Um, he he hasn't beat uh, Mude since twenty nineteen. Mude's beat him in at main stage twenty twenty one, then at Big House. Um, but that's this is post surgery Mars, you know. He's this uh, is <laughs> for real. He's, he's you know he's got that power up. up. And then Mars did beat uh, Glutiny at Kawaii Con earlier this year. Uh, they true. they went one and one in set. So everyone here is beatable by Mars, but you can kind of say that about him versus everyone. Yeah, he he's at that skill level where he can trade sets with any of these yeah, guys. Yeah, exactly. But still, probably like seventy thirty in their favor. You know what I mean? Yeah. I believe in the Mars run. Yep, 100%. He's going to be proud. All right, and then let's move on to the big fish. Yeah. The, one of the biggest events, the biggest event of the season so far. No, that's SmashCon. The second biggest event of the season so far, Agaribi 11. <laughs> this event is banging. It is so, Ridiculous. so stacked. Pretty much every yep. single top Japanese player is showing up. The only invader is Flo, so let's see if he'll be able to hold down the home turf. But still, it's going to be really <laughs> Did good. Did Jazo end up I think he dq yeah. Got it. Unfortunately. Yeah, uh, but for our top eight seeds, you're going to have Ken and Zachary in seventh, Yoshi Dora and Kameme in fifth, Shutone in fourth, Osimo in third, Mia in second, and Akala in first. Of course, he's in first. <laughs> um, it, it's pretty, you know, what you would expect Um, pretty much from it here. Let me, I'm going to pull up the full seeding real quick. It's tough to pick just one player. That I think is going to overperform. So uh, I'm going to say that we can pick two because we make the rules. For sure. Okay. <laughs> there we go, man. There we go. Then I That's actually, my favorite I part know. about it. <laughs> uh, my first pick's got to be Tama P. Because he beat Akala twice this last like day or something. And that's all I really need to see from a player to think they're good. He beat him twice at one tournament. He's got it, yeah. bro. Now he does have Mia that. in winners, which is like... But whatever, losers running coming. Ah, uh, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> losers run initiated. Uh, game I watch against Bay another sound so bad for Bay. Yeah. Editing for plug here. Uh, apparently, it's not that bad, but still a losing matchup. <laughs> that's a yeah, that, yeah, it does not sound like. <laughs> well, a hold on. Matchup. Game watch is light though. Hold on. So even <laughs> game watch like that tall though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not gonna, Bay not gonna be able to hit him. Yeah, it's not a great draw for sure. Um. So for one of my overperformers, I'm I'm gonna use it on the obvious pick, Proto. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Proto is gonna do better than than 13th place. Yeah. yeah. Um, I could be wrong though. He does have the tendency to underperform underperform at tournaments that don't have money on the line, uh, which is fair, <laughs> Def definitely fair. But um, yeah, it's a big event, dude. I feel like there's a, there's a lot. This this means a lot. This can get his name back in the conversation. You don't know what kind of stuff he's getting planned behind the scenes. And I feel like yeah. right now, Proto Banham is not somebody that's on people's minds. Watch the Throne probably got planned around when Summit was ending. You know what I mean? So Proto, mm -hmm. just to good at Summit, he was on their mind. That's what they invited. Versus if they got something that's happening middle of next year, I don't think anybody's going for Proto Banham right now. I feel like everybody... They're going to be picking me and Nicola, and Proto needs to prove that he, he's in that top, at least three in Japan. I feel like he's really up there. I think on theory, he matches pretty well to both of them as well. Now, on paper, 100%. a little different, but whatever. He's got it. I don't. Has he played Mia before? Yeah, but he played Mia at the event, like Mia's breakout event, and he lost. Got it. I know that when he played Nicola at Summit, it was so close. It was yeah, game five. Yeah, that was a pretty good one, actually. Uh, yeah, so I feel like that's uh, of the, of the two. I would like to see him play a cola. I feel like, and don't they play for top, like in winners quarters or something like Before that? Before winners quarters, holy crap! Yeah, <laughs> it's a, it is <laughs> insane. And before that, Proto plays Jogaboo. So we'll have to see. And then, oh, and flow before that, that, the only invader. So is, just... is Sonic still going to this? No, Sonic's no. no. Okay, no. yeah. Fortunate. Would have loved to see him at this and event. Really quick, Imar, before we do your first pick, I just have to mention yeah. that this one 
top eight qualifier has Akala, Proto Bonham, Zach Ray, and her, and or Migi, all fighting for one top eight qualifier through Winter's Side. Insane. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so insane. Terrible, so That's yeah. No, this this event is just with over two thousand, what seven hundred players or something like that. Like it, it's it's yeah. gonna be insane. Uh, and like the fact, like what you were saying, proof the fact that the sixty third seed just double eliminated a cola at a weekly, mm -hmm. like <laughs> yesterday or the day before. Like it, that shows how stacked this event really is. Yeah. Um... I feel like I have 10 different picks I can come up with. Um, <laughs> I'd say one name that, that we always kind of hear, but they, they haven't really, like, done anything majorly lately would be, like, Umeki. Um, obviously, you know, top talent in Japan, always in the conversation for things, but never, you know, quite up there, I would say. Um, so I, I, I could see the crazy run from Umeki. Um, and maybe Mudes as well, you know, the other tournament this weekend, you know, Double Peach. Yeah, Peach Ooh, doing does. well. Yeah, so I, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see that. That would be one of my picks for sure. And then the other pick, um, off the top of my head, I would say Gax. I think Gax's been doing okay. really well lately. Um, I know he's projected to do well, but I definitely see Gax getting it top to top eight. I think that's possible. So go with Gax. Now I can see that as well. Gax is some you can never count him out, even in matchups where it looks like he's not going to be able to make it happen. He yeah. somehow always makes a work, uh, and he matches up into the Japanese players pretty well. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure what his run right now is looking like, but I definitely got faith in him. Uh, yeah, and for my second, my second pick, real quick, uh, I'm gonna go with Aim. Like I said, cheap oh, yeah. player every time. Um, <laughs> so I got, I got to see my guy Aim do well. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, because I'm, I'm kind of just like scrolling through the attendees right now, and there's just so many like. Like Smash Four names that I recognize that I'm like, oh, like I didn't know they still play. You know, like uh, Sue is in here, and, yeah. and again, I don't know if this is updated to where like people dropped or whatever. I'm just reading off of you know what it shows here. I see like Sue, I see T. Uh, back in Smash Four, that was the Link player, yeah. I believe. Uh, Brood is in here, the Duck Hunt player. So th there's just a lot of players. It's crazy. No, yeah, it definitely is. And T, uh, somebody that we saw do really well at the beginning of Ultimate as well, mm -hmm. but uh, just, he just stopped showing up for whatever reason. That yeah. Congo Saga mm, run, beautiful. bro, was crazy. I gave me yeah, enough no. link hope for four years. That's all I needed. <laughs> <laughs> gave everybody link hope. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna refrain from picking hurt two weeks in a row. Okay. Instead, I'm going to pick Subaki, who fights Gak in the winner side of bracket. Ooh, okay. And I think he's going to top eight through the winner side. I think this guy is ridiculous. He's supposed to go up against Osimo, who's only played once at Japan 24, which he did take that set. And that was nine Ooh. months ago when he wasn't even a good player. Think about what okay. he's going to do now. And then now, he has yeah. either Yoshidora and T in Winterside. And I'm not as confident on those going in his fashion. I say, I feel like he'd rather match into T than Yoshidora. Yeah, well, uh, he's only played... He played T once, didn't take it, and then... I believe he's never played against Yoshidora. Got it. But I would be scared of Yoshidora too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a tough draw, but I think he could do it. He is such an impressive player. I'd argue the best Joker in the world right now because MK Leo isn't super active. And that's the only reason. But he's just, he's shown some super impressive stuff. I mean, I don't know if you all saw that tournament that he won over Shutone, but I he do demolished Shutone. It. it was yeah. not close. Like, if you can do that to a player of Shutone's caliber, you're good. Yeah. You guys think who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? I gotta look at the bracket first. Uh, and I'm gonna um, ban Akala and Mia. We're banning that. Boring. Uh, boring. Okay. <laughs> boring. Well, we're banning. Then I'm going shoot time. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll go shoot time. I think that I'll go content and pick Zachary. I was gonna say <laughs> I'm going with Zachary, bro. The young goat Zachary. Now I need Zachary to. I need Zachary to pull up. Okay. I Zachary's need him to pull up. Pull I up. need him to not and play, play pit. Rob and Mr. Game to watch, bro. That's what I need to play Rob and Mr. Game to watch. I need Joker. I need Sonic. I need this guy to play all of them. Get them this garbage out. pit out of here, bro. Your pit's not garbage. Nah, he's he's been on that Pokemon Unite grind. He's going to bust out the Pikachu. We're going to see that Greninja. We're gonna see. <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised. His Greninja would probably be nasty, honestly. Yeah, okay. Ooh, that'd be sick. Oh. Uh, I mean, any but Zachary, plays. please, bro, you are in the top eight uh, with <laughs> characters like Steve, uh, Mr. Game & Watch, Pyra and Mithra, and Sora and Sonic. Pick Rob Pick a real or Mr. Game & Watch. 
bro. I think the most the infuriating top, part about Zachary is that he plays Pit and he still wins, and it makes me so he's... mad every time. That makes you mad. <laughs> It's like he's being. It's like a okay. I'm gonna make a Valor analogy. It's like when you overswing, but you get the kill anyway, so you don't say anything. About yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I want to say. One of those players, set. like, I just feel like he's so good at like everything. He's just like, ah, eh, you know, like today I feel like doing this. Like, he's just better than people. Yeah, I was gonna say he's yeah. just better. But don't <laughs> get me wrong. That's literally. I still think he can win with Pit, but also I just kind of want to see him play Joker and Rob and Wolf. Please. Yeah. It's like why well, make it harder for yourself, you know? <laughs> exactly. He literally. Is. <laughs> I. If we got like another like super try hard tournament from him, because like the fact that he was like a reverse three stock away from uh from getting into grand finals, I think at Cog Ruby nine, I Osimo like reverse three would him, then like reverse three stocked him in the last game or something like like something crazy. Like he totally like threw that set. Like the um, yeah, and yeah, definitely. Like he almost made grands there, and that's with Pit, bro. So I, I would love to see. <laughs> Even if it's mostly Pit and he's got, you know, whatever yeah. extra character for the other matchups or whatever, whatever, he's not feeling confident. Because I think Osimo against the Rob would have gotten smacked, bro. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's just, Rob. which is the character that he wants to invest the most time in, and he wants to do that with Pit, so it's Pit's probably going to be his best character. Yeah. But he, if he even put, like, a teenth into Rob, the return would be... <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the character where... I feel like you don't have to. I mean, you can always practice, right? But I mean, if you're as good as Zach, right? I know he has been playing them, but because I think he tried them at like a local or something, but Pitt is still oh, the focus. Okay. And he bombed out at Delta 5 as well. So I'm going to say that's an outlier because that's kind of the trend. Zachary does bad, gets third at Kagaribi, does bad, gets third at Kagaribi, did bad. Time for the Kagaribi run. We'll see how it goes. Exactly. Yeah, uh, Kagaribi run, man. Some other players that I just haven't mentioned T. T's back. How do you think he's going to do? Um, I don't really I, know I think he's going to place for like right at his seat. I don't see him making top eight. I think T, he had his run in 2022, top five player, amazing run. Since then, it seemed like he's been chilling for the most, you know? I feel like he doesn't got that same that same fire to try and win against uh, against other people like he did, which is respectable, bro. If I grinded and made top five in the world with Pac-Man, I'd be chilling. I'd be like, nobody else can do it like me. Like, I'm legit. Let me just focus on on just being pretty good now. Oh, he's got the um, Zeta bag. He's got the content. He's 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 chilling, bro. He proved he proved he's him already. So, um, but I, yeah, I think I think ninth place, like right where he's seated, I can definitely see him uh, making that. Let me peep his bracket real quick, y'all. Not gonna lie, the first thirty seconds you were talking, I I, I was still on T the link player, so I was <laughs> kind of confused. For it. I was like, "What is he talking about?" Uh, no, <laughs> T the Pac Man and Kazia, you know. Um, yeah, his last three tournaments, like major tournaments, he's got thirteenth at Mesuma, thirteenth, thirteenth at Crown, seventeenth at Kagurugi, ten. He does have a third at Wanted Five though? But we just haven't seen him in a while. It's been almost two months since we've seen him at a big event. Yeah, almost like, like we four since we've seen him at not four, but almost three since we've yeah. seen him at like a major. So I'm really curious to see how he's going to do. You know, my favorite Kazuya player. So we'll see how it works. I think he could be Yoshidora. I think he can too. It's I think it's a two four oh, okay. record Yoshidora favor. But I still think yeah. he can win it. That ain't bad at all. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Dora Migi yeah, as well. And... I just want to talk about Dora Migi. And the... sorry, I've cut you off there. But no, you're uh, good. You're good. This guy's like the Wonder Kid, and I want to see him do it again because that run of Mesuma was literally magic. That was the Dang, only Min Min yeah. that was ever fun to watch. No shout out Proto Bonham or other Min Min players, but that he's so fun to watch with Min Min. I don't get it. Yeah, no, he's he's crazy. He's he's another one of those players where I really want to see him come over to the United States because we don't really have level Min Mins like that over here. So I could see him coming over and really popping off and having a crazy run i think he would farm i feel like na's yeah. bound to be yeah Min -Min. yeah because the only Min, Min we really have is like the buzz that i can think of on the top of my head like as far as like, like high level Min, Min yeah. and that's when he chooses to you know play Min, -Min uh, which is Min -Min not very often and like, in like 2022 we had like justice and peckham who were yeah. both pretty active yeah. in the major scene but they haven't really 2023 like, they haven't really been pink active fresh but he's not really like yeah playing that pink, much, same, you know? same thing yeah he's, he's not, like, not really they're all they're active. all really good but they just don't go to yeah yeah Oh, so yeah, so Dormigi, big one. Sorry, uh, what were you saying earlier, though, uh, Jazara? Oh, I, all I was going to say was that uh, T had to play against Kome as well, oh. and then I was going to mm. just talk about Kome real quick. Yeah, 
Go for he, it. He uh, he's another one of those players where like, well, same thing with Zachary, where he'll like do really bad in the next tournament. He gets top eight, and I'm like, dude, where were you at last tournament? <laughs> where where did this where did this come from? Uh, cause the dude's cracked. He, especially like in 2019, uh, I remember like him, like in the whole Japan squad was coming out to the U S all the time and they were farming. I think same tournament that you were talking about Congo saga. I believe he top eight at that as well or got mm-hmm. ninth. That sounds like, uh, I think he did well there. Yeah, they did well there. I lost a light really on in losers. Cause I do remember them playing. I'm pretty sure. I do remember him. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, he got 13th. I remember he, he lost the light, like you said. Yeah, yeah sure. uh, on, doesn't mean anything. Shout out to Lights Run at Congo Saga. That is, go watch those sets. They're so good. When Mario is playing Zachary, or Zachary is playing Mario, don't know why he did that, but Mario versus Fox, such a good set. <laughs> also, T has to play Akio, who is arguably the best joke in Japan right now off recent results. I still give it to Komei because of Legacy, and I know what he can do. Yeah. But T, if he doesn't like Shulk, he is not going to have fun this bracket. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely not a great draw. What are other ones that I'd like? <laughs> yeah, Shulk into Shulk, bro. Yeah, I That's mean, be fine. double cheaters, but he's playing Kazuya Pac-Man, so can't complain too much. And Nia Tono pull off a crazy run again? Yeah, the back-to-back Jagaimo as well. Those are two players that are going to have yeah. target on their back. Mm-hmm. Gee, I'm looking over this Congo Saga bracket. I forget how many of the Japanese players they would fly over to these two GG tournaments, dude. It's crazy. They oh, got yeah. Umeki, T, the up D, Gak, uh, Shutan, Leia, Kome, Proto Bam, Zachar, Shogun, Kameme. Like, that's, Man, that's like mi- 10 players the right the there, bro. That was like Those the tournaments were high. people. Yeah. It's like that, that was that used to be like the oh, thing you could always look forward to. Is like, oh, the next two GG thing. Like, they're always, always yeah, yeah. Especially for me living in California, yeah. it was always like <laughs> oh, sure, I, knew yeah. that, I knew that like a major. Even if I couldn't make it, I knew the next month there was going to be it's something around the corner worth it to go to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, I think unless y'all have a final player to shout out, I think we can probably move on. Dude, yeah, just yeah, uh, you know, shout shout outs again to to my guy Aim. He's about to pull up top eight. I think he's made top eight out of Kogaribu before. So he's about to make it two. Two, and it's going to be the biggest one yet. Because this is the, Japan's biggest tournament ever, isn't it? Uh, I believe I so. so. Sure, I'll check the... Uh, maybe Evo I'm, Japan I'm looking, beats it. I'm looking at the list right now. I'm going to give a shout-out again to, uh, to Arguri. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the, uh, forward to the Banjo yeah. gameplay once again. Um, going on the crazy run. Easy top eight, and... Um, it's gonna be the talk of Twitter here soon. If if Probably my uh, my le- counting is beats it by thirty points, but that's with riddles, the buzz, Fargo. So this is definitely the most stacked Japanese event with just like Japanese players in attendance. If yeah. if my if my math is correct right now, it actually clocks in as the second biggest Smash tournament ever. Really? Yeah. It's just, so I'm Evo at the Lumi rank thing. Is this Kagaribi? Oh, in terms of entrance. In terms of entrance, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, I think yeah, you're right, yeah. absolutely. Um, Evo 2019, 3,500, and, yeah, and then it's Super that. Smash Con 2019 with 2,708. So as long as all these people are signed up for the <laughs> same every bracket... Every single one of them shows up. True. I don't <laughs> know if they counted DQs for that Smash Con one either. Uh, we'll say they did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's crazy either way. The fact that this is like... T- Three, and we're this late into the game. Yeah, and we had exactly. Smash on 2023, which is uh, clocked in as number four uh, biggest by attendees ever. Like, just insane, dude. Just insane that we're doing. This Especially under the, the context that the game is dead, right? Like, you have to remember, for yeah. a dead game, to get results <laughs> like this, it's pretty insane. And then my final shout is to Senra, because if he beats a Torier, he plays Akala. So let's. Uh, he going to get the run yeah, back. He's going to get his run back. <laughs> let's make the dream happen. Let's go. Yeah. Now we I'd finished love to, I'd all love the to do big that. tournaments. Senra's so sick. We finished all the big tournaments. So now it's time to move on to everyone's favorite or least favorite, depending on if you're me, part of the podcast. The, <laughs> J- <laughs> the JV grid. And we definitely proofs like this. shit. <laughs> oh, y'all are not ready for today. This shit oh, says no. very hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold up. Let me let me let me share my screen with y'all. Did we do better or worse on the first episode? I can't remember if we actually beat ourselves on the second one. I think we did. I think we did way better the second time, didn't we? Did we? I, feel, I felt better, but then it fell apart towards the end. Because I know we had some, some low scores, but I, I don't know. 
We were definitely quicker. Is it looking okay for you guys? Yeah. Golden. Okay, for sure. So these are actually these parameters are looking a little easier for for me. I agree. And we we don't we don't got video game characters, which is already. Thank God. That that was too much on me, bro. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> even when we tried to look it up, it was like I couldn't I couldn't find a specific <laughs> list anywhere, and this is bad, dude. <laughs> So we got, uh, for anybody who's not familiar with JV Grid, if this is your first time coming into the podcast, let me explain it really quick. Uh, basically, we have this three by three grid. We get nine guesses. Uh, what we're trying to guess is on the top, we see that there's uh, three prompts. And on the left side, there's three prompts. In each category, we're trying to find a player that matches each one of those. Uh, and basically, the, the more uncommon of a player that we get, the higher score we're getting. So we're aiming for players that are more uncommon, but if we can't think of anybody, then we're just gonna pick uh, whoever we end up with. And we only get nine guesses, so if we get something wrong, that's it. We don't get any redos. Uh, we just we just have to go with an empty spot for Okay, I'm gonna say right now, I am looking up the PGR for Top 100 Smash 4, because I didn't play that game, so I don't know. Okay. Oh, no, we got you, we got you. Nah, you I, got I feel, like, I feel like we'd be able to We got you. you okay, this. okay, yeah. I won't. I'll, yeah, I'll refrain. I'll refrain. So, like, when we're talking about player Smash 4 Top 100 that's made uh, Top 8 at any Cog Ruby, I'm thinking immediately Zach Ray. Uh, Raito, there's the Buzz. The Buzz. Oh, the Buzz. <laughs> yeah, the Buzz. That's, that's oh, really good that's, a, I, that's a good point. I'm just thinking Japan. Oh, that's actually a really good point. That's, I think that's the like only one. Besides, like, Riddles, but he wasn't he ranked. Wasn't, yeah. huh. I almost wonder if uh, the Buzz would be, like, a better answer, because people don't think of it right away. Who? Dude, who's at Battle of BC5? Was Mistake at Battle of BC5? Uh, oh, I know he was at SmashCon. I don't know was he, was Lima there? I'm thinking the, I'm thinking the Bayo players that people wouldn't think of initially. Um, I do think that Lima was at Battle of BC5. We need to study Battle of BC5 more because it showed up. On I know it's like every one. single one. Of these <laughs> After this pod, I'm riding it, bro. I'm I riding swear. it down. We're going over the bracket together. We need to do our homework. I definitely did though, just not for Battle of BC. Okay. Uh, Genesis Nine as well. I don't even. What, oh no no Battle of BC. Uh, Super Go Kells. Yep, she was there. She's she's definitely Ooh. top 100, right? That's a good yeah, one. No, she, she has she to be right. Yeah. Rip it. yeah, she was. She's 100. percent I think that's where she retired. Girl Kells, yeah. Nice. There we go. Ooh, that's, that's, cool. that's a good. That's a good that's pick cool. right there, man. Um, I think she was number one hundred on the all time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the Super Girl Kells. Gluttony was on the top one hundred. I feel like a lot of people might not know that. Was Was Pink Fresh at Genesis Nine? I don't think he was. I Dude, was he? Yeah. I'm done. Gluttony. Gluttony, just because I I think a lot of people like don't really remember him from Smash Four. Yeah. Five percent. We'll take nice. that. We'll take that's, that. Good. That's, that's good. That's a solid one right there. We'll take that. It's tough because there ain't too many like just winners in ultimate. There's not like yet. for as it's old good. as this game is, the only player like the only new player to win a major this year is Zamba. I'm honestly down for Riddles. Riddles. I think Riddles and Yoshidora are probably the two top ones because I don't even. I feel like most people don't know Yoshidora's won a major. I guess everyone that's doing this knows. <laughs> yeah. Riddles. Hey, that hey. was a that was a good we're, one. We're doing pretty oh. good, actually. We're doing real no, good. No, we've we've been hitting like really well so far. We're, hey, guys, we're smart. It's just the games aren't our thing. It's the not... games, dude. I'm telling you, it throws me because like, I don't know who to pick. I don't even know thing. what characters to think of. <laughs> okay, so we got like Akola, Mia, Sparta, MK Leo, Glutini. Oh shit! Come down. <laughs> yeah, let's do he was too. he was he was for sure there. Uh. I was gonna say Isam, but I, I don't know if he was there or not. <laughs> I actually don't know if he's. I love. You think he was at Genesis Nine though. He, he, he was, was at Genesis, Genesis Nine. He I'm, was. Okay, at let's look, we'll lock in Isam. Okay, for Genesis I'm done. 9. Boom! Chris, Chris. Another five percenter. There we go, man. Oh, dude, I just. Oh my bad. Uh, I recently I just, like did a whole thing about you in 2019, and I had to like look through those <laughs> brackets, and I, I now I'm like blanking out. Blanking like, like, others. Oh it, no. I, I'm down to just play it safe and pick Proto or Zachary. Yeah, I think we should do Proto because Zachary could be juicy for the top left one. Okay, for sure. Proto, Bannon. Okay. That's all right. We, we knew that was an obvious okay. one. That's all right. Uh, what's the list? Do we Aquila, do Mia Spargo. Yoshidora for that one? Oh, yeah, sure. That's a solid choice. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Yoshio? What happened? Yoshio, did he go back to Japan? Hey, let's hey, pretty go. Good. I think he came back again. Void for the bottom right. Was it Genesis and placed top 64 at Evo? I do think that T got top 64, though. I just think we can rip him for Genesis. Because he uh, he didn't he got like ninth there, so people he did yeah. Don't forget. Okay. Are 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 we risking it? Are we going for T? Uh, I mean, I know we said earlier on that we should play safe, but you know. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember I know, if he was at Evo. Or you, not. Gotta, you gotta risk it. Here's for the thing, times, bro. We're kind of notoriously baller, and it's always worked yeah. out for us. So I'm down for T. <laughs> As That's long true. as it's not Rocky at Battle of BC5, <laughs> bro. <laughs> uh, hey, if it's not one tackling player, it's another. My bad. Who, who, so who am I picking, T, or am I doing Void? Or am I doing someone else? I feel like Void might be the same. It's up to you. I, I, I didn't watch Evo, so it's up to you. <laughs> I feel like, because I don't... I feel like, like you said, like... Because Void did play Ultimate, right? And then he kind of just stops. Yeah, but, but that, that was, was like, like early into the, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Evo 2019 was like one of the first. So I'm pretty sure he had been there, right? And I doubt yeah. that he got. But I could be wrong. So I don't know. Whatever you feel safe with. Your call. Uh, Take scared, the glory. Take it. the shame. You're, you're the third Old vote. Man, bro. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> Huge. Oh, my God. Literally, the only people I can think of is Kameme, Leo, and Tweak. What about the buzz? What about um? The what buzz, about... yeah. Shootan. Buzz, I like that. Shootan at Battle of BC. He got third. He did. The buzz got thirteen. So. Oh. Okay. Now the buzz get top six. six Surely points. he had to. He, he had, had to. It was like pre patch yeah. all, right? There's no yeah, way. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking down to lock into buzz for. Okay, let's for this one right here. Let's Has get it. To be. There's no way. Oh, I forgot that He's my button him. doesn't work. <laughs> Does it not? <laughs> yeah, oh, so let's, go. let's go. Okay. Uh, good call, good call. Zach Ray top left. Dude, I'm sending it. I, send I it? don't I think he it. was top. I don't think he was. Bro. <laughs> I, I literally don't remember. I, <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm find a coin, bro. If we can't <laughs> I have of anything, I'm, I'm flipping a coin. I'm flipping a coin. Call it in the air. I have one. Tails. It was heads. Oh, we cooked tails. <laughs> Shoot, man. Woo. Okay. okay, well, who are we picking then? Let's pick him anyway. All of us run that. Surely he's made well. top eight at one of them. Wait, has um, has Mia won? Which Kagrivi did Mia win? Did he win was one? It? I don't know. Because if he did, Abaddon got was... second. Oh, okay. That I think that might have been Umabura. No, it was a Mesumo or Kagribi. I know that. Hmm. I think it was. I think it was Kagribi eight. Eight, because yeah, I, I think Akola won nine, won nine and, 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 and Spargo won ten. I think it was Kagribi eight. Yeah, and okay. Abadongo yes, got yeah. second with the Meta Knight. He beat Proto Bonham. It was sick. We don't. We don't. I remember he three stocked him. Did he, he owned like, him more than not, what? It was decimation. Then, uh, what about um? I, and I don't even know if he's played ultimate. What about Koma or Kiri? Did he quit after Smash Four? He oh. did, yeah. He did? Okay. Uh, he, okay. Yeah, he was he was never that great in Ultimate. Got you, okay. Never mind. I, I feel like Ken is the safe pick. He's definitely... I can guarantee okay. you that Abba did get a Kagribi. If Mia won Kagribi 8, which I'm pretty sure he did, Abadango got second. If you can guarantee the Abadango, I say we go with that. Guaranteed. Guarantee? Is this a proof plot? Silly. If this is a guarantee, then... Wait, I, his B button doesn't it. work. We can't do Abadango. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> right here, right here. Oh, okay. I, got, I got him right here. <laughs> Rip it! Let's go. Hey. Oh, I got the glitch score again. I, do you know what? Good job. Hey. That was a solid JV That was the grid. best we've done. We before. should be proud of that. If you beat us, uh, don't tell us this time. Tell us next week because we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. And now we have a couple things. We have the comments of the week. We got the character of the week. And we got the player of the week. And I think we should start with the character of the week. Did I tell you guys who it was? No. Okay, it's Roy. <laughs> Roy has okay. a hobbies run, and also Roy is just in a really interesting spot in the meta right now. What do you guys think of Roy? Roy, he, you know, character that uh, even that we saw on the first official ranking uh, <laughs> was ranked 
was ranked in the top 10, um, has severely fell off, in my opinion. I was about doesn't, to say that He doesn't match up the best into a lot of the DLC characters. Against the base roster characters, like uh, Sonic and Rob, uh, which are like kind of like the... And uh, Snake as well. It matches up pretty well. But I don't see Steve as a good matchup. I don't see Kazuya as a good matchup. Um, Min Min, like, I, I don't know. I, I don't think that... His the things that make him successful, I feel like, start to fade out as people get better at the game. He's like close quarters combat character. Uh, really like has to rely on getting. He can't space around with stuff and and kind of uh, yeah. start to get things going. He really has to, to overcommit and be the one. Which is why I feel like when Cole comes back, he's gonna be playing Cloud, bro. Like is going to be yeah. playing Cloud. He thinks to be Cloud. Uh I think he's gonna be Aegis. But I think Roy is. People are also just getting better at understanding okay this is not a sword character this is a brawler in the last stock last hit i am going to just outspace him so you're seeing yeah. a lot of more sour spots than you used to be seeing so people are just way better than trina and then yeah i do really agree with you that some of the yeah. later game characters that were introduced he just he struggles with he just has a lot of problems it's, it's just, and you just yeah, don't see a lot of the roy players as much anymore yeah. i feel like goblin yeah. hasn't really been doing much cola hasn't really been entering stuff so hikaru plays sora now yeah, i think that's so also a large thing is that quit for, roy played yeah quit for cola fighter, he quit sure. hikaru quit yeah. first street fighter yeah let's go get that back sure he, he, oh he i just yeah play. i saw that yeah, yeah i think he posted about it the other day yeah donkey yeah. kong but yeah still, bags the bag but Cola is coming back for port priority, so maybe that'll yep. change things up. Uh, I still have this character in my top 20. I think people are being dramatic. He's still really, really good, but he definitely oh, yeah. fell for Grace. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I can agree with you a little bit on that. I don't think that... I definitely think he's like a solid high-tier character at the bare minimum um, still. But I, I think that, you know, he he fits better as a secondary character, I would say. Co-main uh, type character. Um, somebody that you could bust out for some specific matches because like i said uh one of the characters that like matches well uh your mic's um, cutting out a lot by the way yeah oh it is yeah <laughs> uh but i will use this to ask a question of mine who do you guys think is a better secondary roy or chrome uh i'm gonna say roy 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 for sure by far right, i would well, say that's boring by far <laughs> i mean I, just, I would say i, I mean far <laughs> i would say but i mean i feel like Krom has even more situ well i guess it's, as a second it's just right? yeah as a secondary so you don't have to play the matchups where he's going to get abused off stage which is all of them but like all the really them. bad I, I was gonna well, say yeah, I, it's kind of like I, I, at that at that point it's like like what does Krom do that like roy can't i mean his on stage is so much better I don't, I don't care if side B kills me at 50. Krom on stage is a... I care. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I can max space my jab and get a killing back air is ridiculous. Like, Roy players, you got to be mashing the shield. Krom, he can be on, like, the other side of the stage. It is that, insane, the pressure that he applies. That is true. Um, and I guess, yeah, as a secondary character where you're bringing, out, uh, bringing him out for very specific matchups, but yeah, like even Leon? then, I think, I think the matchups that they have similar even Roy, losing Roy's just and winning matchups. more matchups as well like don't even yeah, wrong. Roy's exactly. definitely the correct choice but i just like to talk about cool, Krom when though. i can Krom, yeah and there's Krom's that's the dope. real answer Krom is cool but what were you saying before your mic sabotaged remember dude yeah my, my mic uh I, I i forgot the little tangent that i that whatever i was going on oh yeah roy matches well into in sonic and into rob you know like i said base roster characters Roy yeah. kind of he he covers his bases pretty well there still. Um, if you need if your character just can't do it against Sonic and you just need somebody to keep up with him, Roy is a, a pretty easy character to pick up and uh, at least get an even matchup in against uh, in against Sonic. Beacon of Roy though, we got our players of the, the week player of and the week. Uh, that was the smooth. Uh, I'm I'm gonna start us off with this week. It's gonna be Roy player. We talked about him earlier in the episode. I won't I won't touch on it for too long, but Javi. Uh, Javi, amazing player, multiple time ranked in Smash Four. He never did the best at. We've seen him pick up, you know, multiple top fifteen wins in that game over players like Abadongo. <laughs> so just good, good wins all around. Um, and at this tournament, he was able to make thirteen set losers, cute and winners, uh, beating players like Leo, uh, who uh, beat in grand finals like double eliminated Chag. Mm -hmm. Um, so just. 
great stuff right there. You Chag, well. even uh, Ryu player, you Ryu player, Mao. Oh good. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that I haven't seen him play before. Uh, I didn't prior to this, but uh, I think Ryu's cool. So shouts to him. <laughs> <laughs> I a huge Ryu hater, but I got respect for that character now for yeah, sure i mean if you, you oh, watch hey, smash 4 him. so i think that's yeah. a fair take <laughs> yeah it, it took me about four years but to get over I, I, I warmed up <laughs> him a little bit awesome uh, but so yeah cool. he is dude uh, on hit he, he really he just plays that like the way that you want to see exactly um but yeah javi uh we we already kind of mentioned the main stuff with him just really happy to see that he's doing you know he really plays because leo uh, like the main reason he goes to <laughs> you just it, 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 literally I think <laughs> uh, they did a documentary before uh, and to, to summarize it basically it was like yeah like when I'd be growing up I'd be playing oh the mic <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gotta go so much yeah. is it cutting is it still cutting out do I need to do I need to get close to it like this or is my neck yeah. I, I think it's yeah we'll see I don't know if it's the mic or just your computer but it's fine we're almost at the end anyway well, you... <laughs> uh, but basically uh, it's something along the lines of oh yeah my little cousin Leo was getting good at this game and needed a practice partner so I, I just started playing with him <laughs> and he got yeah. good enough to be top 50 in the world in Smash 4 so oh, it funny. worked out pretty well yeah. Uh, Imar, you got a pick? Yeah. Um, I had to think about one. I got a rock with Super Dog. Um, just because we, we didn't have a lot of events this past weekend. Uh, you know, like we kind of talked about earlier, you know, MK, Lu- MK Leo loses from time to time. MK uh, loser. However, <laughs> we typically don't see MK Leo losing to Super Dog. Um, so just shout out to Super Dog for, for, for the amazing upset. They, it wasn't like it was like an easy matchup either. It was Marley Violet. Yeah, Marley Violet. Yeah, that sounds kind of tough. <laughs> and then my player of the week is going to be Why Do for the week of Steve Tech. This guy has put in so much work to it, and I think it's super funny that he's just adding more to Steve. Because if the character got banned because of that, it'd be funny. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. But shout out to Why because he's putting in a lot of work, and people don't appreciate it because it's Steve Tech. Yeah. Yeah. Why do Why do uh very underrated person in the community i would say for for finding out stuff. tech like that P- people recognize it but like you said it's steve so people don't always give it the the respect steve it deserves Steve is but... buffed every 24 hours <laughs> and then also we're going to do uh the weekly comment where we read one comment from the last video and since we forgot to do it on the first one i mean it wasn't like there was a comment section to choose from we're going to do the first two episodes and the one from episode one is going to be from uh devlin kaplan five seven six five can you talk about high maintenance characters and how feasible it is to play perfect oh i like that. that's a good question yeah so this <laughs> question this is, a, this is a really good question so as as the resident high maintenance character player here <laughs> I'll, I'll give my opinions <laughs> on it first um so i i use chic uh i've i use her in bracket all the time i i understand the concern with high maintenance character and you know i i've I've been one myself where I've had a lot of doubt in the character that uh, a lot of matchups that you think aren't as great as they should be or, you know, you play them in tournament and they're losing. Especially a character like Luigi or Kazuya, you know, <laughs> theory, they're easy to abuse, but you play against somebody and they go for the same option 10 times in a row and it hits kill you. My mic is cutting out, isn't it? Yeah. I see. The, I see the green going That's away. Dude, just what stay, is? Just it, stay was close. So, it was so. It was. You just so good. like holding it, it right to it your was mouth. Going, it's, it's it was good. going so good. It was perfect the whole until the JV. Um, after the JV grid. <laughs> I know. The JV, yeah, the JV grid. Screw me, glitched out my whole computer, bro. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, certain characters, uh, you play against them in tournament, and it's just, it's just not it. Uh, the matchups just don't feel super winnable. But the longer I've been at it, and the more you know commitment and stuff you put into your character it, it really starts to feel worth it to play these high maintenance characters um i feel like you you get a certain sense of satisfaction that you don't get with other characters um especially with a character like chic a character like fox a character like joker right where uh, a lot of a lot of what makes him good is uh movement based stuff stuff that you can mm-hmm. visually see and be like yes i am playing good right now i i'm being rewarded for the work that i put in uh and for me personally, as somebody who's not looking to be the best player in the world, uh, getting 
satisfaction outside of winning the game is, is always a plus for me. Um, I think that they, they have a spot in the meta. Obviously, we're, we're, we've seen characters uh, thrive throughout the ultimate that I consider high maintenance. We're talking Fox. We're talking specifically Peach, I feel like is a pretty high maintenance yep. character. Um, yeah, and we, we've seen them thrive forever. Uh, even like Ice Climbers with Big D. Uh, we've just consistently seen that if people are dedicated enough, they are going to get the results with the character. And while you might not see 10 cheek players like you see 10 poly players uh i feel like if, if you're really committed to playing the character and that's what's fun it's worth it you will be able to get the results that you want to see out of them just got put in that work yeah for sure uh you want to go ahead next yeah week? sure yeah. Uh, i'm also through the lens of a high maintenance player play bowser for reference and i think something that's really helpful as well is when you're playing characters that are super easy like let's say you're playing like a lucina there's not a lot of work you can put into Lucina besides just playing the game. That's how you're going to get better. But with high maintenance characters, you can do so much in the lap. And there's so much to constantly be improving and learning. It's really easy to stay motivated because you always have things to work on. Whereas if you're playing, again, a really easy character like a Ganon or a Byleth, you're just, yeah, I figured out all my combos in the first three hours. So now I just play the game to get better. There's not a ton of stuff to lab. So I feel like it's really easy to be motivated with high maintenance characters. And then you are just going to be naturally more inconsistent because you're not always going to be on point in tournament but that's when it like really shows how good of a player are you the high maintenance players even when they're not hitting the crazy stuff can still manage to win like when you look at light for example he's not always going crazy vote but he's just winning neutral a lot because he's just a fundamentally solid player so you need to have a lot of the time be better than your opponent but if you're better than your opponent and even if you're not if you're hitting your stuff it's e easy to win you can get some insane results yeah, uh, well, as a fellow, uh, you know, low maintenance main, uh, you know, I play DD for reference. Um, um, I agree with a lot of that. On the flip side of that, though, what I will say is, as far as high maintenance characters go, there is always kind of that risk a little bit, I feel like. And the, mm -hmm. the first player that comes to mind with that is is Mutase, you know? Yeah. He'll have tournaments where he tweets, like, okay, the hands today, not feeling it, right? Um and that'll kind of just mess up his whole day sometimes, you know. So there is always that factor. But, yeah, it's, it's a lot of what you guys said. You know, as far as that goes, um, I think the high-maintenance characters are just a lot more rewarding in general. There's a lot more you can practice, right? Um, me, for example, like I said, like, when I'm playing DDD, I'm not like, okay, let me sit in a lab and practice my Gordo setups. Like, there's really not <laughs> much for me to, <laughs> to work on, right? Like, um, whereas a character like Sheik or like just other characters where you, you have to lab combos and things and like it's different for different percents and things like that you know um it, it's just there's a lot more that you can always work on and i feel like it kind of forces you to play the game more and also like makes you better because you're playing the game more um and just overall it just it seems like a lot more rewarding but again it kind of just depends on you know what you're looking for you know like i have fun playing the characters that i play even though they're not the highest maintenance characters you know what i mean yeah. um whereas other people find that reward as like you know you can you can really see your growth playing one of those characters i feel like so yeah definitely for sure with that. agreed well said yeah and uh just la last thoughts on that kind of build off what proof said uh i feel like that's always that's always the coolest part about the high maintenance characters there's always little things that you can learn about them whereas like paul like i'll go back to Politana because i also use Politana. She has a pretty, pretty much the same game plan in every matchup, right? Yeah. Uh, your kill yeah. confirms are going to work the exact same way. Your neutral's going to work. Like, it's, it's all the same. Whereas, like, uh, for uh, another character like that, you need to build multiple play styles, multiple strategies, and multiple, even character, very character-specific things. Uh, for example, like, all the FGC characters, you can't approach them all the same way. You can't combo them all the same way. Even though they all kind of fall under the same fighting game character, don't get in their bubble... Uh, there's very minuscule things, and I think that's that's fun. And like I said before, uh, when you start to put in that work, and it the yeah. rewards will come to you, and you start to see it all come together. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, if you can put um, in the work, it's absolutely worth it. Yeah, and especially yeah. in a game like this, you know, because yeah, we're five years in, right? But there's like eighty plus characters. Like it, it takes a long time <laughs> to learn all that, you yeah, know, exactly. with the different matchups and everything. So yeah, I saw sure. this video yesterday, and it was like a. People people thought that Sheik was the best character in Melee for the first four and a half yeah. years. And they're like, that's how long Smash 4 was out for. Like, and yeah. people have played it. I was like, damn, bro. Yeah. Like, even just that game. The like, how much, wasn't even that good. how much could it change? You're, you're, you're I, don't know, I don't know about you're, all that. Year two more, Bayo, Bayo Obscure. <laughs> Jigglypuff, you can just rest her, bro. But our next question, this one's going to be from episode two from Litmaster Beer 101. 
Uh, episode two, let's go. Love the podcast so far. Thank you. My question would be, what is your most wanted character in Smash? Kind of butcher the pronunciation there, but you get the general I idea. Uh, I got the guy from Hollow Knight. I don't know his name, but the main guy. <laughs> said I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I promise I'm a fan. I just don't know about the lore. <laughs> I've I've got my pick already. It's it's bandana Ooh. waddle D. Let's make it happen. Ooh, why okay. why is it okay? I, I don't understand this, right? Talk to him. We've got like, you know, you got your Mario's, you got your Zelda's. What's the next one you know, Pokemon? What's like the next biggest Nintendo? It's Kirby, right? Everybody knows Kirby, right? We haven't got okay. a new Kirby in the rep since Brawl. Okay. That's Smash Four <laughs> with that ultimate. There's only three represent, represent representatives, right? Of, of Kirby, you know? You got Kirby himself, you got Dedede, you got Meta Knight. Why is there no Bandana Waddle D, right? Every Kirby game comes out, who's on the cover? Bandana Waddle D. He's like little psychic, right? He's one of the main characters. I just don't get it. Just don't get it. No, let's add another Fire Emblem character. Okay. <laughs> Tragic. Nah, you got a fair point. And I, I think Bandana Waddle D, they should have just added him, bruh. Like, it really wouldn't have been that hard. They really that really have. wouldn't have been that got hard. Piranha Put him as like oh an my... Echo, at least. <laughs> at least. That's what I'm saying. Um, what, what are the character has spears you can throw? You know what I'm saying? It's just. I'm. I'm still thinking a little bit proof if you want to go. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Go. Right, no, you, you already said your guy, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, I'll I, find his I'm, name. Uh, Y'all put me on the spot. I'm trying to push it off to somebody else. <laughs> also, the reason yeah, I, I keep talking about Bandit Water. The reason they ain't add another Kirby characters because they they messed up the last time they did it. They're too scared. Bro, they, they added. They said, you know what? Then. We're That's not touch, We're not touching that franchise again. We're done. <laughs> Just don't get it, so, man. I just don't get it. <laughs> my most wanted character was Steve, actually, for a very hey. long time. Um, Mine too. Mine is huge, Banjo. huge Minecraft fan over here, um, and that that didn't turn out how I wanted it. But <laughs> Jonesy from Fortnite. Things yeah, happen. You know. <laughs> hey, all I'm saying is that if I was actually playing Smash when Steve dropped, I'd probably be manning Steve still. But I wasn't really playing when he came out. Um, yeah. But I, I guess my pick would be Paper Mario. Um, okay. Kind of any any of the variations of him, I just utilize like the special moves he has in the game, and then his party of characters. I want those to be whether it's some of his like his specials he uses them for something, or he has a way to between his party and pick care. I don't know. I uh, just just something uh, like an echo character he, that has like one gimmick. You yeah. switch between them with down B. Exactly. That yeah, something cool. like that. Yeah. That no, cool. I, I think I think that 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 would be cool. Um, even if he can only like. They made it like a, a bra. They have a certain amount of yeah, like Luma, back. something like that. Exactly, yeah. Um, Nintendo. I thought devs. something like that That's would be cool. I, I love paper. I love Paper Mario. Paper Mario, Minecraft, and Smash are like my top three games. Well, they're making a Paper Mario remake, right? So it's a actually thousand year door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. actually they're, possible. They're remastering it. Do yeah. um, I think that'd be awesome. And like, if you're looking for a Mario RPG character, I feel like Paper Mario's RPG was paper. Paper Mario makes more sense than like Gino does. I, I see it, dude. I'm looking at my green box <laughs> next around my. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Paper Mario. He he just makes sense. He'd be awesome in Smash. Yeah, solid picks. And I think that yeah. wraps us up, unless I'm forgetting anything, and I don't think that we are. Do you guys have any final so. words before we say sayonara? Dude, it's been a. Uh... It's been three weeks, three podcasts. Just want to say, uh, anybody who sticks around to the end, we appreciate you. Um, mm -hmm. We we want to make this thing big. We're planning on, you know, having guests and whatnot on. We're just trying to get our format down, get yeah. get a system down, get some, you know, just something in place. Um, so we appreciate you for sticking out. Be sure to leave a comment down below, featured in the next video uh, comment of the day. Uh, if you yeah. have any suggestions, any topics you want us to cover, anything like that, comment down below. We read all. So. Yeah. If you guys I have mean, any other words. Yeah, I'll just say, you know, thanks for watching. Um, you know, like Zara said, leave, leave your comments below. Let us know, you know, what, what's your favorite segment of the podcast? You know, what do you want to see more of? Things like that. Um, you know, we're really trying to keep Smash alive. Not that it's dead or anything <laughs> like that, but we enjoy talking we're about it. Smash. We enjoy playing it. We're saving it. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I'm glad we've been able to consistently keep this up. Looking forward to many episodes to come. And um, yeah, I'm just I'm excited. Yeah, I mean, it's been really good so far. And then also, someone left a comment about us doing a tier list video. We are going to do that eventually. Maybe not within the next couple ones, because we just want to get some more normal ones out. But that'll happen eventually. I can promise you that. And yeah, yeah that's all I really got to say. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, Sub. Proof. I hope, uh, I hope 
no injuries fall your way yes. this upcoming week, my man. I hope I uh, I'm Stay hoping you had a happy and <laughs> a happy and healthy week. Uh, I got an ice pack on hope- it right now, so hopefully it'll be yeah. be recovered by the next one. Let's hope you're not having to to babysit next week, or you you got a <laughs> bunch of dogs up in your room or something. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like a I don't know what's gonna go down. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next How's one, going, guys. Peace. Peace.